Hello. Today we are starting a series on Spring Boot Data JPA. We focus on everything around the database in this project. We cover the setup of a database and all forms of relationships. Today we start with the intro. In this intro we are going to create our project. After the project is created we synchronize it with a local repository. Then we will create a GitHub repository to share the project with the whole world. So, now we can go to Eclipse to create a new Spring Boot project. In our Eclipse IDE, we create a new Spring Starter project. The name is Spring Boot Data JPA. Note the type Maven project in Java version 17. In the next screen we choose the following dependencies. H2 Database Spring Data JPA Lombok and Spring Web. As Spring Boot version we choose the new 3.0.0, for now this is still the snapshot version. To exit click Finish. After creating our new project, we can create a new local Git repository. Then we need to add our project to the index. After we create an initial commit message we can click commit. This way we connect our local project to our git repository. So far everything remains local on our computer. To easily synchronize the local repository with GitHub's repository later, it's best to change the branch name domain, which is GitHub's default name. Now we can create a GitHub new repository in GitHub. We choose here to use the same name as in our project. Enter a description. Choose Public and click Create Repository. The next screen shows all the details of our new repository. Click on the icon after the link to copy all the data. Back in Eclipse, we can now create a remote. The remote name is Origin. Click Create and go to the next screen. The URL is all the data we just copied. For user and password you have to enter your own data. Click on add and fill in the branch name, this is main. Check force update and OK. Then save and push. Now the local repository and the GitHub repository are synchronized. You can go see this on your GitHub account by refreshing the page from before. All the public files and directories are on GitHub. In this new package we create our first class, member. In this new class member we can now create our fields. We create ID, first name, last name, and birthday. Above the class name we place the Lombok annotations. Data. No orgs constructor and all args constructor. In the main class, we create a command line runner. This bean is executed every time the project is starting up. In this intro we don't do much in this bean yet, we just write run command line runner to the console. 
When we start our project, you can see the text as the last line in the console. That's it for this intro. In the next part, we will continue creating and testing the first entity. We create one table without relationships in its simplest form. Thank you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.